Well, it is finally here. This episode, we reveal our plans for season three. Mm. Our first stop is the family-friendly, fun-filled, fantastic park of Rivershore Resort on the Sunshine Coast. Paul talks us through his must-have travel items in the back of the Hilux, and I share my top tips for road trip planning. Okay, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We're about to set off on an epic adventure north. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, drum roll please, Jasper. Welcome to season three. All right, where are we going? Winton. Good, straight off the bat, Winton. Why would we go to Winton? <laughs> they sure are, and gee, we're excited to see them. That's right. We are heading north, very north. How far north? <laughs> as far as we can go north. Yes, as far as this, uh, this set of wheels will take us. We are going to be exploring anything past north, east, south and west of the Tropic of Capricorn. <gasps> yes, that's right. So season one took us as far as Rockhampton, Yapoon, yep. Emerald, you know, so many great things that we discovered. Uh, this time we've decided we are going north. We are going to tropical North Queensland, which just quietly sounds amazing to me. <laughs> and we're Add the also, word tropical to anywhere, yes, it sounds amazing. Huh? Yes. We're also going to get out west as well and explore some of the dinosaurs. I know, the epicenter of dinosaurs on planet Earth. I love it. Where do you uh, most want to go though? Well, you know, you nailed it. Anything tropical for me yeah. is pretty awesome. Looking forward to getting back onto the Great Barrier Reef. Amazing. You know, getting getting up if we can get up as high as we can uh, up into the you know the cape. top of the cape. Oh, that would be just amazing. Across to Karumba. Like Karumba. Yeah, Hitchinbrook Island's on top of my Ooh, list. Oh yes. This, I mean, there are so many incredible destinations yeah. along Bowen. the east. Oh my gosh. Just one beach top of the year. Air. Oh, so many beautiful. Uh, Not gonna have enough time. Sundays. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, if you're ready, Jasper, say woohoo! Woo oh yeah, baby. Here we go. Sure, it's an Ingenia Park uh, and it's actually the very first place that we stayed in when we first kicked off back on Father's Day, it was September 1st last year. So it's pretty cool, it's a little bit of deja vu getting to come back here and experience um, what is probably one of the best family resorts that you can stay in. Now it's school holidays, um, but I guess with COVID and all those sort of things, we were very surprised to get a last minute booking here. We're here in midweek. Um, look, it's certainly uh, on the more expensive side of, of caravan parks, but what it does give you is a, a kind of like a one-stop family fun, um, fun-filled um, center. I mean, you don't really even have to leave this park. There's everything from the bar that's set up like you, you might as well feel like you're on an island or something in, you know, Fiji. There's, there's, you know, cocktails and happy hours and all the rest of it. Uh, and then there's this incredible pool area with the big slides. There's the jumping pillow. There's pedal carts. Um, I think they've got another trampoline thing. You can also hire kayaks. Uh, they've, they've set this place up uh, really 
almost perfectly. It's right on the Maroochee River. So then if you want to access some of the other attractions around, it's very close to do that as well. Uh, but enough of that, what I'm really wanted to talk about, we've been asked about, you know, what do you guys actually carry in the back of the ute? So while we were in Tassie, we had the opportunity to, to really get ourselves a bit better set up. Um, look, I, I will um, say that, you know, with a few more dollars and um, if, if, you know, the bank account ha had a, a little bit more money that I could spend, I would probably go and get a, a, a canopy put on this and actually do this properly. But for now, I found something that's kind of in between. The last um, cases, uh, a storage compartment containers that I had weren't very strong, but these guys I just picked up at Bunnings, they're like 20 bucks each. Um, and we sort of have three. We have two large ones and a small one. And this is pretty well what we have in the back of the year. This one here, we don't use all that often, um, these guys. But they're basically side covers uh, for the awning. Um, and, and, and to be honest, we've used them once. So, um, don't weigh a lot. But, uh, yeah, I guess they're, they're good when you need them. We've also got a hammock down there, which I have used many times. And then this is fantastic, this particular mat. It's absolutely huge. Um, being here at Rivershore, you don't, we don't need one, but it, it is actually not quite as wide as that one, but it's, um, it's certainly as long. And uh, it, it also allows for the grass to come through if people are worried about you know, putting mats out on the grass, it's very good for that as well. And then all of the dirt drops through that, which is perfect. So that's what's in that case. Um, then over in this one, this is kind of like really my go-to. It's the main tool um, area. It's also got um, other things in there. There's some shovel. That's that's where the drill set is and all the, the tools. In here, some more tools. A bit of um, Jasper's artworks. Here's that filter. Episode 1. Season 1. I was going to install that. Mm, haven't done it yet. I'll, I'll have to do that this season because uh, that's just been sitting there and then uh, before I do that I also grab some of this tank clean as well so I think I'm going to actually clean the tanks give them a good flush out before we do that and then bocce hey it's really interesting Katie's not the most sporting person but bocce's her game she told me if there was a, an Olympic version of bocce that'd be her call up okay and then in this one um, pretty um, bit of pizza really it's um, got our Hiking boots and then the stuff for the Weber, the pizza. Oh, gee, needs a bit of clean, doesn't it? Um, and then some convection trays. And that's about it. Our good old water filter, uh, filtered water container there from when we're on um, road trips and we're not with the van. Then I've got the recovery kit. Um, some of it's in the, the car. Obviously, the tracks there as well. And this is yet to be installed. I am going to be looking at getting one of those, I think it's called a Selfie Go. Uh, Wi-Fi booster system so that when we are starting to head out west to the dinosaur and all the rest of it we want to be able to get that really um, boosted coverage so that we can keep uploading our content that's about it not a lot of stuff but uh, there's always there's always more stuff than you need still that's that, that that's the bottom line here but I think I've got it into a good place now um, yeah that's about it Rainy day outside, Jasper. Yep. Mm. Hello, wifey. <laughs> good morning. Look at that. Isn't that a good excuse to have some rolled oats? A bit of porridge, I should say. Look at that. It has rained and rained and rained. Oh my gosh, it's pocketed with rain. All right, that's okay. We're going to get some planning done. Always a good, good excuse to actually get some stuff done. And it's like that outside, isn't it? We dropped the awning down last night. It's because it was a bit blowy as well. That did the trick, didn't it? Yes, it did. It actually, it was bucketing pretty hard, but thankfully everything mm. out there is well, I, I assume fairly dry. That's a very long list, Kate. <laughs> it's always long. <laughs> okay, we've left Rivershore. It's a great park, isn't it? It is awesome. It is 
I love that part. The facilities are so beautiful. Interestingly, it's where Apollo launched the new Coroval, which yes. is kind of cool. So there's all of these little, um, I guess, things that with that part that make it super special for us, right? Yeah, a bit of a connection back to Coromel. <laughs> it was where we first met other Coromel owners as well. Yes, good old Coromel Waving corner. Waving to someone else driving past us with the van. I'm sitting on about, what, 90, 95 kilometres now. It's 110 zone. But isn't that the best thing? As far as things I don't miss, <laughs> feeling like I was always rushing and having to get somewhere or be somewhere or do something. I, yeah. I love, I love that. It took me quite a while. It took me, you know, six or eight weeks, I think, initially to get out of that feeling like we have to be somewhere. Yeah, and I, I think that's interesting too, because even on our yeah. drive days, when we do have to be somewhere and we know we're in the car and we're we're headed towards a destination. There is a different feeling. It's not the the stress. I've got to hurry up and get here and do that. It's, that uh, it's, to have. Yeah, it's undervalued, really. That stress-free feeling that, that this this gives, but it gives you so. Hey, didn't you, we meet some nice people at uh, really yes, short time? Yes, and we're going to give them a shout out. We've got Daniel and Shana and Shana yeah, and their kids and their who were next to us. Mate, he, you know, we're always like, oh, just when you're trying to pack up, someone comes over and chats to you. <laughs> I was really happy with the with the chat with Daniel because he has so many good things. He's got his Amarac like set up like nothing you've ever seen, and yeah, right. yeah he, he had all of the all the kit and different ideas and try this and contact that and visit there. He actually told us about a place called Trinity Islands. Um, so yeah, that's going to be on our list as well. So yeah. Awesome. Great to meet, you know, lovely people, lovely family, and and isn't the family market just booming like yeah. caravans? All That's right. the best part of it is meeting the people, isn't it? I should probably also introduce our new uh, person in the vehicle. That's <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Yes, Thanks, thank you, Granny. thank you, Granny. And so Winnie the Pooh has, um, yeah, she kept Jasper, and we got Winnie. So not true. <laughs> Jasper is there hiding behind the poo. All okay, right. so where are we headed? Okay, so we did our first leg, Gold Coast to River Chiron, the Marucci River, Marucci Door, 203 kilometres, about two and a half hours drive time. Yep. We're now on the road, River Shore to the Fraser Coast, to a little place there on the on the mainland called Puna, mm. which is great, about 150 kilometres down yep. the road, another two hours, been a bit of a rainy start to the day, uh, hence why I'm taking it a bit easier. But We'll do a pit stop in Gympie. Yes. Dump the toilet. Yes, which is good. I don't think we need to pick up anything, which is good. No, maybe a nice wine somewhere. We'll go and have some lunch, I think. Yes. I'm hungry. <laughs> Here we go. Season three. Deja vu again. Now we're back in uh, Queensland. We've just come through Gympie. We're at this little uh, pub called Silky Oaks. We're going to stop and have lunch, do a bit of planning. Hello. Hello. Are you good, Jasper? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, let's do it. Time. How exciting! This is one of the 
best parts about being back on the road is getting to plan and figure out our route for season three and where we're going and what we want to see and what we want to do. And what's so awesome is finally, finally we have bought ourselves a copy of the Camps, well this is Camps 10 book and everybody out there who has one of these knows how amazing they are. What I love about this book is not only do they have really comprehensive maps for all around Australia, pages and pages of free, low cost campsites, you know, including things like farm stays and station stays. So I am so excited for season three. We've got the van set up, we've got the inverter, we've got the solar panels, everything is set and ready for us to do loads more free freedom camping. Camps 10 is gonna help us do that. So that is so awesome. Um, I love the planning. I use, it's so old school, but I use my diary. That is a month to a page and you know, it's two steps forward, one step, one step back a lot of the times, uh, planning where we're gonna go, but I really love this part of it. I love that it's my job. Anyway, okay, we are at Silky Oaks. Our lunch has just arrived. It's this beautiful little tea gardens, really eclectic, um, off Tinkan Bay Road. So if you're headed to Rainbow Beach or um, Maribara, or you're coming from Fraser Island even, and you're on Tinkan Bay Road, make sure you stop in and come and have a beverage and some lunch here, because it is a really fantastic spot. All right, see ya. Silky Oaks. Silky Oaks on the Fraser Coast. Delicious lunch. Mm. Oh, so good. Wow. So parrotfish. quirky and just a great spot to stop. Yeah, I love it. It's set around this kind of garden area that has been tended to sort of over a 30 year period or something, isn't it? It's like, you know, there's little gnomes and little waterfall and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. cool. Anyway, we're here because we were just talking about planning for season three and Kate said, let's make that this week's podcast what are the four segments that we break down to make sure that our planning is successful in its outcomes absolutely i guess it's mm. our, our our top four tips on how we plan yeah. for everything whether that's our entire season or whether that's you know where we're going next week so we yeah. get a lot of questions about that let's do it we're not going to put this whole podcast on this week's episode, but we mm. did want to give a shout out to our podcast. Now, if you're not into podcasts, you should be. Yeah, they're awesome. Oh they're my God, amazing. They're free. They're free. And our podcast, which is titled Family Travel Australia, if you're searching for it, is available mm. on literally every single podcast directory anywhere around the world. So it doesn't matter wow. where you are, you could punch that in and you'd find it, whether you're on an Android and Google or mm -hmm. Apple I, um, podcasts or um, Stitcher or iHeartRadio or Spotify yep. or uh, I think there's another there's so many, yeah, a dozen other directories that you can find us on. Um, and if you can't see us or you don't like looking at us, that's okay. You can <laughs> we listen understand. to our dulcet you, tones. You can listen to us, mm -hmm. rabbiting on week in, week out, every single Friday night at 8.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Yes. What's awesome about the podcast mm -hmm. is whilst we follow you know, our destination content and we mm -hmm. always give updates on where we are, we'll often go more in depth on tips and tricks and yeah. you know that real RV lifestyle. So the podcast is often different to our weekly YouTube episodes. Yes. All right. If you're planning a trip, plan to listen to this. Here we go. We're going to hit record in five, four, three. Welcome to season three, episode one of the Family Travel Australia podcast. We are Katie, Paul and Jasper from the Feel Good family. Join us as we explore this great country, Australia, its people, places and cultures. You're good. You should turn professional. Well, you know, we've done this for a while now, so. <laughs> That 
Thanks again for joining us. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to follow our adventures and log on to thefeelgoodfamily.com.au to receive our e-newsletter, contact us, or download free resources to help you make the most of your RV travels. And be sure to join us next week as we continue our journey north toward the Tropic of Capricorn. New episode every Sunday night, 6.30 p.m. Excuse me, sir, um, you got any ID? No. No? You can't just come in if you got, haven't got any ID. Look at that. Cold beer, real food. Opposed to warm beer and unreal food. There's a kangaroo over there, he's playing statues. No. What do you mean? He's, he's playing statues, look at him. Don't get too close. He might bite, he might bite you. Oh, be careful. <laughs> He's looking at me. Oh, and a cute little baby. Uh, well, how about, first of all, tell me what's going on here and then introduce everything. What's going on? Okay, so this is the waterfall and the lake waterfall. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think a long, long time ago, that bucket over there, you can see. You did get some grass maybe and throw it into there cheers big ears you would know that they were huge ears behind that little hair too would you look at them <laughs> huge. Huge. Mm -hmm. mm. okay